Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Kiley with Flyskins.com. Today I'm going to be tying a, what I'm going to call it, an MMA crab, because Kung Fu crab was already taken, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to name it right now. Alright, so uh, things I'm going to use today for this fly is just a saltwater grade one on hook here, wide gape, and then I've got the Kiley's crab bits, which notice how much movement there is on those, and then uh, I'm also going to use a lead dumbbell eye, some mono eyes that I made, tan, to match the crab that I'm going to create, and then a dub brush that I also made. Check this thing out. Okay, so it's made of craft fur. Um, it's also got some UV ice dub um, dubbing in there, made by Hairline, and then I also got some like shaggy... Uh, rubber stuff here. I'm not sure what that's called. I can't remember right now. And then uh, how I made that was I used Hairline's got this uh, stainless steel wire that you can purchase now and I'm using the .009 and it works great. It's the thickest one they have. So first things first, let's go ahead and tie the dumbbell eye in. I'm using 3 aught mono thread here. I'm going to leave a little space on the uh, back in case I want to put a weed gird on it. Advance the thread. Next thing I'm going to do is use some shrimp colored UV ice dub here. Twist that in. Take my epoxy mono eyes, tie those in on each side, putting the uh, eye stub on there helps kind of hold this in place. And now I'm going to take these eyes, I'm just going to bend them out. So they're kind of out there. Now I'm going to take some more of the same ice dub shrimp color. I'm going to wrap this in and around those eyes. Put a couple wraps over it, help kind of hold it down. And then I'm going to go in with a piece of Velcro and I'm going to brush out just a little bit of that dubbing, kind of make a little shaggy and then it's time to separate my claws from the bits here. I'm just going to cut it a nice clean piece like this and then in half so two separate claws and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down so it'll be popping these uh, claws outward on an angle like this. You can kind of manipulate it around as you lock it in. Same with the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add just another little bit of the shrimp color ice dub. Over that. and then brush it out again. Alright, so the next step, what I want to do is I'm going to put in my legs. The cool part is, you get this tie-in point, I'm going to reverse tie it in. 
That way I'm, after I'm done putting on the body, I can just fold it over. So I'm going to lock this in pretty close to the first set of legs. And then just trim this excess tag off. Alright, now I'm going to take my dubbing brush here. If you notice, these fibers are really long. They'll be trimmed here in a second. The cool thing about making it thick like this, you only need a couple wraps to finish it off. You can look at a lot of places now. Fly Fish Food actually has um, plans for a dubbing brush maker, and they also sell them now. So that's kind of neat. You get everything you need. Be as creative as you want. Two, three. I'm going to brush this out of the way and four wraps and we're done with this secure it in cut that off see it's a big hairball right now I'm going to move this back get a couple more wraps in there Alright, next thing I want to do is I want to move all this part of the uh, furry side to the sides, kind of part it in the middle where you're going to fold your legs back. Grab the tag end, fold it over, and then all you got to do is secure it in place. See? There's not many, I don't actually I don't think there's any legs on the market that actually have as much movement as these. There's three different sizes, small, medium, and large. There's a recommended hook size on the hook size on the package, but that doesn't mean you have to necessarily go with that. Alright. So one thing I can do now is I can go ahead and whip finish. gather up all this kind of brush it upwards and a good rule of thumb for the size shell you want is pretty easy based on the hook size I like these fibers being long it makes it a little easier to trim it if you take your scissors and you put it on an angle right at the base of the eye and then right above the hook point and kind of Curve your scissors up as you're cutting, and you're going to basically get the perfect shape you need. You can trim some of the stragglers here, or leave them. Adds a little more action to the fly. And then you can kind of push these back down, and then flatten it out. Just trim it up. And that's pretty much it folks one thing you can do after that is you can color it you can use magic markers and that'll really uh, give it some variation you got a good looking crab there with a lot of movement